What's up everyone, Andrew here. I'm gonna teach you how to go from zero to one as a crypto data analyst. So I've put together a short roadmap here where every single node is the key set of skills that you need to learn uh, to really build up your crypto data portfolio, learn to navigate the ecosystem and go out there and build reputation or get hired, earn money, trade, whatever you want. And so you can see here that I've broken things down into modules. So if you click into this, uh, you'll see that each node has some sort of description and some links. I've tiered things into three levels, level one, level two, level three, level four. You should not feel like you have to complete every level to move on to the next one. Some of these L3s or even L2s take a lot of time to work your way up to. Um, it's just there so they know that there's more for you to learn. So every single section here, they have, again, some explanation and links explaining you the key concepts. And then there will always be you should at the bottom, right? So this is meant to serve as a guideline. For, Here are the things you need to learn. Here's what you should be able to do for transactions, traces, and events. Learn what they are, explore them. At the end of the day, you should be able to go to Etherscan and be able to point out that's the function call, that's the event, those are the traces, right? Obviously, this gets more complex with some of these other ones like Eek System Overviews. These are complex dashboards, and your goal is more of building an intuition, which is uh, learning, like, for any blockchain, what metrics would you use maybe to compare them? And that's going to be a theme kind of as you go through all of these, that, for example, learning how raw data works. That's just going through a bunch of documentation and learning how data is structured. But by L3, it's really building an intuition of, okay, if I go to a dashboard, what could they or could I build next that would make it better? It's an intuition. Kind of same thing for all of these sections here. So really comes in, I think, five or six different sections. Introduction to crypto, if you know nothing about it, easiest way to learn is just by using crypto. Um, you will need to learn uh, some of the basics of blockchains. I recommend getting up to L2 here before moving on. Exploration tools. There are tons of data tools out there. I've linked a guide for you to learn about what tools there are in crypto. And you're just going to have to learn how to explore trends, addresses, and transactions. If you can't do those three and you try jumping straight into querying, you're going to have a bad time. I highly recommend that you don't do that. Cool. Querying obviously gets more complex. There's a bunch of resources in here for you to go deeper and learn to build what you want to build. Obviously, querying comes with three other sub skill sets. One of the harder ones is technical languages. You can use SQL, uh, you could use Python uh, or R, uh, or you could use JavaScript um, or TypeScript to build the analytics that you need for whatever your use case is. I would pick one and roll with it. SQL is probably the easiest one. Don't try and learn all three before going deeper. Again, this isn't a checklist. You should learn what you need to and go build something and come back to this roadmap when you're like, okay, I feel comfortable. What's next? Navigating protocols. This is the one this takes a long time to build the intuition for. Uh, if you just get comfortable with L1 and L2 on any protocol, you're in good shape. L3 and L4, that probably took me a year to build good intuition for. Building in public, this is an important one. If all you do is query uh, and create dashboards or reports or whatnot, and you're not sharing it with people or like really trying to answer questions that you see from key leaders online, you're losing most of the value, right? So you should learn how to get, engage online. What are the communities you can engage with? You should learn that finding bounties and work is relationship building. It's not just, oh, you can do the query so you get the work. Uh, you have to go and basically answer questions online and engage with people in a meaningful way to build the relationships to then get the bounties. Ultimately, you want to work your way up to high value contributions. That's how you get really recognized in the space. And by that point, once you're recognized, you can really do whatever you want. There are a couple knowledge domains that you should learn. So I've listed seven main ones here. You'll see that they're sparse. I am still adding to this. These will have their own subsections in the future. Uh, but my suggestion is if you learn two or three of these domains, you'll be pretty comfortable analyzing almost any protocol. There's no way you get away with just analyzing one of them because of the composable nature of crypto. 
every protocol or wallet or token touches multiple surfaces. So it will be helpful for you to slowly build up the intuition and the knowledge around these different layers uh, or domains over time. Uh, and there are more domains than these. There's MEV, there's PERPS. It goes deeper and deeper, but these are the basic ones that are like, you should be familiar with at least a little bit about how they work. Go check it out. Link is in the description. Have fun learning. If you have questions or if you get lost, you can go and DM me. I'm happy to help out. Or if you have a resource that you want to contribute, you can also DM me. I'll add it in here. And happy learning and good luck becoming a great crypto data analyst.